Contrary to popular belief, the swimming of suspects was banned. And if a person had been swum, the fact could not be mentioned in court. The usual practice was to tie the suspect's thumbs to the toes. A long rope was then used to hold the person in the middle of the river or village pond. Despite the ban, it was a test favoured by many and was frequently used as a preliminary procedure before a more formal inquiry. If a suspect sank, she or he was hauled out of the water. The aim was not to drown an innocent suspect, but who knows how many mistakes were made. Hold on. We shall take charge now. You will not take charge, sir. I am the constable of this parish. And I am John Stern, and this is Matthew Hopkins. God be with you, sir. I have the warrant of the county magistrate. This warrant does not name this woman, sir. Friend, this is no way to proceed. We share the same aim, to rid the world of witches. A godly aim indeed, sir, and one that we are more than capable of doing ourselves. Yes. Yes. Without trial? Where does that leave you, Constable? Come now. We have been sent by authorities to help you. With our assistance, things may proceed in the proper fashion. And at a proper price, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this woman? Her name's Margaret Moon. She's long been suspected of witchcraft. Men in tree, rogues! Who the devil sent for you? I'm glad you know us. Take her. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.